In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a global material parameter, a slash material parameter collection. And this is a thing that will allow you to set this parameter in one place and it can be used on like all your meshes or all your materials, for instance, to make them look a certain way globally. So this is good for like settings or something like that. So first thing we have to do is we have to make our material parameter collection. So there we go. It's just there. And material, uh, prom material parameter collection. We're just going to call it cube MPC. And then we're going to go to vectors. So you have two options, scalars and vectors. You're only allowed so many of these in each collection, but this, it's a big number, so it doesn't really matter. So vector is a, I think it's a four-dimensional um value that's like a color with R, G, B, and alpha, so opacity, and scalar is a float, so just a one-dimensional value. So we create that, and we're just going to set that to a color, and then after that we need to create our materials. So we go back to materials, you go and create that, and let's just call this cube mat, and it's empty, so we just drag, drag this in, and then we say, hey, we want uh, color for the parameter and we put it into base color and we'll also put it into emissive so it glows a bit. After that's saved we can then go about setting this value so we go into our third person uh, character blueprint for me and this will just be wherever your actual player character is wherever you can do the event buttons button presses um, like this, and they work. That's pretty much the only important thing. And obviously, in an actual real example, um, you wouldn't ever really be uh, be doing, you know, just just something this simple. But this is just the example. I'm just going to select all of these, and then we set a vector parameter. Yep, yeah. and we join that up. And the collection is cube MPC and the value is color. So we get three of those. And then we just want to make the color. So we just make color. And that's just making this uh, this structure that we use to store our color in. And we're going to set that to one here, one here, and one here. So now we can add a cube into the world. So we can add our cube and we can set its uh, material. And when we play, you see it's just black as we default set it. But then we can press R, make it red and D to make it green and B to make it blue. And we can have as many of these as we want. So, you know, this is a universal value. So we can have like four and R, G, B. See, it's very simple. So if you found this video useful or helpful in any way, uh, please like and subscribe.